the ampersand symbol in Excel can be really helpful on a daily basis. And here I'm going to show a couple of different situations, practical examples, on how can we use the ampersand symbol in Excel to help us to solve tasks. Let's start here with combine, append together some informations. This is basically what the ampersand can do. Combine and append informations, append formulas together. Let's take a look here to the left where I have a list of products sold and I have as the first column the customer name. The customer name, the share name of the same customer and also the date, the product bought, the quantity and the total. And here to the right I have the order ID and also the email address. Let's say uh, here, as you guys can see, it's everything in blank. So I need to fill it in with the correct information or actually I need to create the information that I need to fill it in here, the order ID and also the email for each one of the customers that I have. Let's say, and let's start with the order ID. I can combine and group together, maybe the name uh, with the date and with, uh, okay, let's say, I just want you to append these two informations here. So Emily, with the date that Emily bought uh, the, the product, let's say. So my order ID is gonna be in this situation, Emily, and then the date, October 9th of 2024. Something like this, enter. And for the next row, I can do something similar. Daniel, and take the date, and then Olivia, and take the date, and so on, so on, so on. But instead of do it manually, and to make it dynamic, and always automatically change and update for me whenever I change any result or any data that I have here in the list, I can use the ampersand symbol or sign to help me. Take a look here, for example. Equal sign, I always start with equals, equals sign, and then I'm going to select the first cell that I need, uh, maybe the name, okay, I can click the name, or also the share name, doesn't matter, I'm going to stick with name. And I'm going to use the ampersand symbol to append another information or to append another cell here. One interesting thing that we can start with just to make sure we can understand how the ampersand works. Let's say I just selected here before the name and then ampersand. Now I'm going to select the share name. I can click here in the share name and then enter. As you guys can see, I just append, I just drop together the name with the share name. If I click hold and drag down here in the dark, down right corner of the cell, I can see the, the results for the next rows. But let's stick with the, the task that is create the order ID. Double click here. Instead of using the cell C4, that is the share name, I can drag and select here the date to append the, na the name with the date. Enter. I'm going to have here these numbers. I know that it's different than we are usually used to see. That is the date in Excel. But uh, date in Excel is store like this, okay? So this is a number that is converting into a date in Excel, but the date as we usually see in Excel, such as January 1st of 2024, for example, is usually stored as a different code, such as 45, 57, and four, for example, just an example, okay? So this is a date in Excel. This is why we have here and got as result, this value right here, it's correct, okay? So I have here, Emily append to the date of the, the, the order that Emily bought. So we're done with the first test, let's say that way. And if you want to continue to append things, you can double click in the cell and then upper send again, and just select another thing that you want to append. Let's say maybe the share name, like this, enter, and here we got the result. And if you want to continue to append things, you can do it so. And instead of using cells, you can actually use the upper send and then type in anything that you want to use, such as one, two, three, enter, or maybe you can use a text. But to use a text, it's important to code, type in the text that you need, and then unquote, okay? Open quotations mark, put the text, and then close quotations mark, enter. Here we got. Let's stick with the, the correct order ID that is this, and then click here in the down right corner of the cell and drag it out to make sure all the rows contain the same formula, and we're done. Now to create here an email, let's say here is just a temporary email. It's not a permanent email, it's just a temp email. I can do it using the same principles. Equal sign, I'm gonna use as the email the name of the customer, and I'm gonna append the name of the customer with, to append, I'm gonna use the ampersand with the, the date, maybe, okay? because it's a temporary email, it's not a permanent email that's gonna last forevermore, it's just a temp email, so we're gonna take the name with the date, 
but I can actually also take the name with the share name, okay? But I'm gonna stick with the date. And then I'm gonna append the at mail.com, for example. So open quotations mark and then at mail or at email.com. Close quotations mark, enter, and here we got the email. I can click, hold, and drag down, and all the temp emails are done. So this is the address that we can use to create an email or to send to the customer. Now let's see here how can we use the ampersand again, but this time with a formula or with a function, doesn't matter. You can use with a function, with a formula to append to gather informations. Here I have just a sample of a couple of competitors, Emily, Liam, and uh, Sophia, and the time of each competitor had in a, in a race, for example. So the first time of Emily is 67 minutes, and then 66 minutes, 8 minutes, each one of the laps that uh, each one of competitors had in a race. And what I need to do here, I need in some way to append the competitor names with a text, with a sum function that is going to add up all the values that corresponds to each one of the competitors, and then again append another text. So look what uh, we're going to have here as example. Emily Johnson had a time of 1,394 uh, minutes uh, and here period. Okay, so we're going to use here the name of the competitor, a text, maybe here a sum function to add up all the values, and here again a text. So let's see how can we do it in a practical way. Equal sign. And then the first thing that I can start with is select the name of the competitor. But this time, instead of using Emily, I'm going to use Liam because Emily is already here. I'm going to select here Liam. Okay. And then I'm going to append with maybe a open quotations mark with a text. So Liam had a time of close quotations mark. Let's see what it's looked like. Enter. Okay. As you can see here, it's almost perfect. Uh, the problem is the name of the competitor is basically, I need to split the, te the text had a time off to the name. Okay, so from the name, double click here. Just after this open quotations mark, I'm gonna press space to give it a space, a blank space. And also after the off, enter. Okay, here we got. And something interesting here is it's dynamically. So I can change the name. Maybe I can put here John Paul, for example. And I'm going to press enter. Looks what's going to happen here. The name is also going to be automatically changed. Whenever you change the name of the cell, the reference. Now, what you need to do here is append a sum function. We need to add up all the values that I have here, or all the values that Leon had in the race. So, append, again, a percent. Sum function this time I'm going to use. Double click here, I want you to select. And the sum that I'm going to do is all the numbers that make up this column where the Leah Anderson is at those parentheses and then enter. Okay, almost done. As you can see here, we already got the sum within the same formula using the percent to append a couple of different things. Now here, to be after the, the parentheses, the close parentheses, I'm going to append again another thing that is open quotations mark, space, minutes, period, and close quotations marked. Enter, and here we got the, um, the correct answer. Leah Anderson had a time of 1321 minutes. It's perfectly. I can do it again, all over again, but uh, this time, instead of do all over again, maybe it's smarter to double click in the cell, select everything within, right click, cope, press ESC, and then in the cell underneath, double click, right click, and paste. Now the thing that we the things that we need to change here is just the range, it's just the reference that we're gonna use. Instead of using Liam this time, we're gonna use Sophia, and also here the range is gonna change. So just click and drag to the right. Enter, and here we got the the second correct result. Sophia Sophia Martinez had a time of 1307 minutes, and we're done. So this is a couple of different ways and practical situations. How can we use the ampersand in Excel to help us on a daily basis? I know that uh, the ampersand is just a symbol in Excel. It's just uh, maybe an uh, operator, but it can be really, really, really helpful if you know how to use it. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.